What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix the dreaded error message that you see when you're trying to install Windows 7 via a USB flash drive. Now if you're a PC repair tech installing Windows uh, or Windows 7 in this case is pretty common and people do it on a daily basis when they're running a PC repair tech shop. Uh, the problem is if you're not a PC repair tech and you're a home user this can be quite a uh, frustrating and daunting when you come up across this type of error message and I'm going to show you how to fix this and resolve this today. Now if you are a PC repair tech and you are coming across this type of error message then shame on you, you should be slipstreaming all your uh, drivers into uh, your ISOs and stuff like that and using those particular type of installation media uh, to fix this problem. And I've done many videos on showing you how to do this over the years, so that's what you should be doing if you are a PC repair tech. Now, obviously, for a home user, they may have upgraded their hardware to the latest and greatest, and all of a sudden they go to install their old version of Windows 7 onto that uh, installation, and they're going to come up across this type of error. And the reason for it is because uh, the drivers are not installed onto that uh, actual media. Now if you use a DVD-ROM drive it should bypass all this problem and you should be able to install uh, your version of Windows 7 but most computers nowadays don't come with a DVD-ROM drive and uh, they haven't got them and uh, now they're trying to install it via a USB flash drive and this is when the problem will arise. So let's take a look at some of the options how we can go about fixing this uh, on this computer. So if we look at um, Gigabyte, now Gigabyte, as you can see here, I've come up with a nice little tool that you can use called Windows USB Installation Tool. So if you are a home user and you want to go down this route, this is a really good, useful way of getting around uh, your problem. So your problem is basically you either go out and buy an external uh, DVD-ROM drive and use your disk to install Windows 7, or you use this fix to get around your issue. Now this is set for gigabyte only, so all gigabyte motherboards, this is the tool you can use. Now obviously if you're a PC repair tech, you don't want to be going down this route every single time you go to install Windows. You want to create a multiple uh, installation disk with all the drivers for every single uh, type of motherboard on there, and it's pretty easy to do. So let's take a look at MSI. MSI have also uh, come up with this tool as well, which is for MSI uh, installations. And as you can see here, how to use the MSI Windows 7 Smart Tool. It's pretty similar to the Gigabyte version, and it will just slipstream all of those drivers and chipset drivers that you need uh, to get the installation working via a USB flash drive. So you can use the MSI version as well. Also, uh, uh, ASUS uh, have, have done a version as well called ASUS Easy Installer. This is their installer which allow you to uh, get around this problem. And also uh, there is a version on Intel's website which is called Windows 7 USB 3.0 Creator Utility. And you can use this as well to create uh, your media, depending on what you want to do. Okay, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but also what I'll try and do is make another video. I've made videos on how to slipstream all your drivers into disks and you can see that uh, videos uh, previous that I've made as well on how to do those uh, jobs for you. So if you wanted to get your drivers yourself, you could manually go to your motherboard manufacturer's website and download all them drivers and you could slipstream them into uh, a disk, which I've made videos on as well. Now, the next problem, is Windows 7 ISOs. People always have trouble with Windows 7 ISOs and if you're looking to get yourself a Windows 7 ISO uh, then you can either go to Microsoft uh, website here. You will need to have your product key. If you've got your product key this will allow you to come onto here and install your product key here, verify that product key and it will give you a download link to download the ISO image. Uh, it's a bit time consuming but if you're a home user and this is what you want to do then uh, this is how you can get a, another copy of Windows 7, okay? If you've lost your media. Uh, the next one, which we're gonna look at is this site here. Now you used to get Digital River, and this is the uh, watch they, which they used to use to download all the ISOs. But nowadays this is taking its place and you can still use this to get a version of whether it's Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, 
you know, and you can get all those versions here. And we can also get Office as well, as you can see, Office 2007, 10, 13, 16, and 11, and so on. And that's also uh, available for Mac. So let's go ahead and get our ISO image. I'll show you how to do it, just in case you haven't got an ISO image, and I'll share to go through this process. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So this will be pretty a lengthy video. First off, you're gonna to need to get the uh, Windows ISO downloader. This is if you don't want to use the uh, Microsoft website, uh, maybe that's what you don't want to do. If you don't want to do that, it's entirely up to you, uh, but you can just download it here without putting all your uh, product key in and you can just download the ISO and I'll show you. And it's totally legal. There's nothing uh, uh, illegal about this. It's a legal way of doing it. It's just a third party way of doing things. So you can see here, you're gonna need to make sure that you download this ISO downloader. Also, you're going to need to make sure that you've got the .NET Framework 4.6.1 or the newer installed on your system. Now, obviously, you're going to need to have a running computer to do all this. So if you haven't got a running computer, then you're going to be into trouble. Uh, you're not going to be able to do that. OK, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to quickly hit this and download this. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to drag this into this folder here into this location and there we go so we now got this down and all we need to do here is follow the on-screen uh, process so we're not going to be doing that we're just going to use this method so to get our download we're just going to click on this this will open up this page here let me just close that off so you can see and from here you choose what uh, version you want to get so we want Windows 7 going to put the radio button into Windows 7 here and I will show you the full process of slipstreaming your uh, driver in there as well and we need to do here is select a version that you want uh, so basically if you've got professional uh, you need to download the professional one and so on okay so depending on what version you're, you're running on your system we're just going to download uh, the Windows 7 uh, professional service pack one and uh, what we're going to do here is uh, confirm this. And there's also more download options you can see here. We're not going to take much notice of those. We're just going to come straight down here and install the language version, which you can see here, English, and confirm this. And now you get the option for 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, preferably, you want to be running a 64-bit uh, operating system here. So I'm just going to click on... 64 bit and now we can download our windows 7 uh, professional service pack one english iso and this is a legitimate uh, download as you can see here it's coming directly from uh, the microsoft website so it's not illegal it is safe um, so this is the best way to go about doing that okay so what we're going to do here is save this so now we've saved this we're going to go in to our usb uh, tools folder which we've got on it in our drive here and we're going to save this and it's going to download now this is 3.09 gigabytes in size so bear that in mind it will take uh, some time to download depending on uh, the speed of your internet and also the speed of the server which is which it's coming off of okay so now we've completed our download you can see our ISO images here and what we need to do next is get this onto a USB flash drive. Now this is a legitimate ISO image as I've said. Uh, the place you've downloaded that from is a legitimate site. It's not a pirated copy and uh, it's not slipstreamed with loads of malware or rootkits or anything like that. It's safe to download and this is the way that you should be downloading your ISOs or using the Windows Media Creation tool uh, to get your version of Windows 10 and some things like that so let's go ahead now we've got all our tools here we'll take a look at these in a second uh, but the next thing we want to do is go and get a tool called Rufus now I've already got my USB flash drive plugged in here and this is a USB 3.0 flash drive and uh, what we wanted to do is get a tool called Rufus now Rufus you've seen me use before uh, many times and uh, this is the actual uh, download site here you can come down and download the installer or the uh, portable version it depends on what you want to do okay so we just need to download this and get it onto our desktop I've already downloaded it so now we've got that in there we can now 
use Rufus uh, to create our USB flash drive. So let's click on Rufus. I'm going to run this as administrator here just to make sure there's no problem. Say yes to the user account control. And do you want to allow Rufus to check for, uh, I'm going to say no, because I don't want to check for updates. It's fine. And uh, we're just going to open this up. Now, once we get all our files onto our USB flash drive, we can then uh, drop in the actual files that we need from uh, these manufacturers. Okay, so let me just drop this back. So you can see here, we've got uh, MBR partition scheme for BIOS and UEFI. And uh, you can change this uh, to what you want. I'm just gonna leave this on here and uh, we're just gonna change this up, okay? So the next thing we want to do uh, is change some of these settings uh, to our liking. So you can see here we've got ISO image. We need to point to that ISO image. So I'm gonna just quickly do this. And we're gonna pick our Windows 7 ISO. And uh, that is fine. Everything else is fine. Standard Windows does those installation and that's, that's good to go. So what we need to do here now is click on start. Uh, it's going to warn you and say, uh, are you sure you want to go ahead? It's going to wipe that drive. So make sure you've got no data on the drive that you want to keep because it will be wiped. And we're going to click OK. And it's now going to start to uh, put all those files onto that USB flash drive. I'll come back when this is complete. Now, depending on how fast your computer is and uh, what USB flash drive you're using will depend on how fast this is to complete. But you can see here now it's ready to use. So we can close this off, we're done with Rufus now. And uh, what we're gonna do is go back into our folder here. Now, it depends on whether you've got an Asus motherboard, uh, you know, an MSI motherboard, a Gigabyte motherboard, um, uh, an ASRock motherboard. You can use the tools that they uh, have on their websites. And as I said, if we open up um, here and go to Gigabyte, you can see they have the Windows USB installation tool and it covers all these uh, uh, boards here and again MSI have their tool and so on so you can download which one you need to use okay now what you can do is slipstream these in in a different way which is a, te a different techie sort of way but this is more for the home user uh, but we're going to take a look at how we can do this now we're going to uh, pick out a tool here we'll use the uh, gigabyte one as you can see here I'll try and take a look at some of the others if we can going to right click on this and extract all and we're going to leave it in this location as it is and then click extract and it will extract all that content into that same folder so we're keeping in the same folder just makes it easier to work with and I will just let this uh, complete and that is now complete you can see it's opened up the uh, folder and inside here you will see the actual tool itself uh, with all the other areas here and you can see inside here there's some little areas here for 32-bit and 64-bit hotfix is inside here as well it's going to put the hotfix in there for you and also it's going to drop in some other files storage controllers you can see here Intel Samsung and uh, this is for your NVMe and also You've got the USB area here, which is for your USB. Now, there's nothing stopping you from dropping in more content in a different way. And you've seen me make loads of videos doing that before. So this is more for the home user. And if you use this method for a gigabyte motherboard, it'll be fine. MSI motherboard and so on. So let's go ahead and uh, continue with the uh, slipstreaming process. So we're just going to grab this Windows image tool, which is for the gigabyte, and we're going to click on this and open it up. Say yes to the user account control. And here we have our tool. So we can close this off for a second. And this is the actual tool here. And you can see uh, none add USB uh, drives. And this is the actual uh, thing here. We don't have to worry about the source path because you can see CD-ROM, we're not worried about that. Destination path, this is where we need to select our uh, USB flash drive which we just created for, with our Windows on it. You can see here this is the version that we've just created. Now there's three boxes here and uh, when you click on this one here it will tick all of these. In my personal opinion I would just leave all these ticked. Uh, this is because this is going to drop in 
all the USB drivers and also all the uh, NVMe drivers and stuff like that so I would just put all of the, these on it's not going to hurt okay and once you've done that uh, you're pretty much good to go so what we're going to do here is hit start and it's going to slipstream those onto the uh, build here so I'm going to click yes and start and that will then start to put those across to a USB flash drive now this will take a bit of time so be patient okay so that's now complete as you can see it's now uh, put all those drivers into our USB uh, installer for the Gigabyte motherboard. Now let's just quickly take a look at some of the others now. I've unzipped these for you so you can see, uh, but we'll take a look at the Win7 uh, Smart Tool. And uh, we're gonna go into here. And inside here, you'll see loads of uh, tools for the MSI, and we're gonna click on this. And this will do the same thing. So we're just gonna say yes to the user account control and I'll go through, I'm not going to do the whole process, but I'm just going to show you uh, what it will look like. And there you go. It says this uh, utility will create an Intel 100 series compatible Windows 7 installation file into a USB storage or ISO. So you can actually slip, slipstream this into an ISO here as well with the MSI tool. And again, it's telling you you need more than uh, a gigabyte or more and uh, make sure the system is over eight gigabytes of free and you click OK. And you can see here uh, the Win7 Smart Tool, you just click on this and of course uh, Source, we'll choose the Source folder. You can add this to add USB drivers. And again, choose storage device and it's picking our actual uh, storage device, which is our pen drive. You can also put the M2.Genie on there as well if you wanted to with the MSI um, tool itself. And if you've got an ISO image, instead of a USB flash drive, you can use uh, the actual uh, ISO destination, uh, but we've got the actual USB flash drive here. And basically that's it. All you need to do is uh, click on start and this will then start to add those into uh, that drive itself. Now we can have a look at the actual folder here you can see usb3 and it's put all the drivers inside here you can see 64 bit and 80 uh, 86 which is 32 bit again you can see it's going to drop all these drivers in for you for msi again 3.1 and 3.0 uh, drivers here right here you can see them all okay so that tool is gonna to take care of all that for you if you're on an MSI system or setup. And let's take, I'm not gonna continue with that, but I'm just gonna show you uh, one more area here. And we're gonna go into USB tools. Again, uh, ASUS, if you've got an ASUS motherboard, I'm just gonna quickly show you here. This is the actual user manual and you've got the installer here as well. Let me just extract that here, all inside there. And we'll take a look at uh, the ASUS uh, version, just in case you're running an ASUS setup. Now, of course, each of these tools are slightly different, uh, but they do the same sort of thing. Now, you may run into trouble if you're running an MSI setup and you're trying to use the gigabyte tool you may still run into issues it may not work okay so it's always best to try and use the tool uh, for the motherboard manufacturer that's probably the best uh, way to go about that now there's also a question which is might be able to install all of these into the usb flash drive i.e asus uh, msi uh, asrock you know all the uh, gigabyte and all these and put them all into one build and that way you can uh, chop and change each uh, build so you can see here the same sort of thing it's giving you the hot fixes uh, in uh, vme there you can see 64-bit it's putting all that sort of stuff ready to go now this is slightly different but you can see here you would click on this say yes and again, Windows OS disk to USB storage device, and you would just go through the motions, okay? 
and I will try and if you want to see a video on doing all of these then please let me know and I will make a video for you to show you all of these in one go and hopefully uh, it will be okay uh, again uh, the last one which was this uh, USB patcher here is another type of tool you can see here resources are all here and that's going to be pretty much uh, you click on this and you can see this is for ASRock say yes and this is the ASRock tool and this is the Win7 USB patcher and you can see you can pick your folder same sort of thing and it will do that all for you and it will even burn it to an image if you want to uh, if you want to go ahead and do that but they're all separate tools but they all do the very similar job okay and depending on what type of motherboard uh, you are using anyway I hope this one helps you out guys that's how you can uh, create your own uh, USB uh, installer for Windows 7 with all the latest drivers so you should have no more problems with that error message that you had on the screen there anyway I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button it really does help and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos also if you've got any uh, video requests or problems with computers and stuff like that you can always join the community over on the forum and if you haven't joined my facebook fan page you can pop over there and give us a little like up over there or maybe even write a little review anyway thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support i shall see you again in the next video bye for now